For us, uh, we're all about silica, we're high and dry, we're, um, so uh, coastal influence is something that we can bring into the property, there's something that we, we might take from off the property. Generally our whole farm system is kind of closed, so we have our own cattle, we make 40 cubic metres of our own compost every year that's issued from products that are off the property, so it's kind of closed cycle, but if we do bring anything in, it's probably from the coast, so a bit of sodium and potassium and uh, also just a bit of softness again a little bit of saline salinity coming into our land is not a bad thing and so uh, we maybe do that once every two years we put that straight into the compost um, uh, and just yeah it's just a lovely additive to that how do you go about purchasing seaweed you don't just go down to the coast and pick it up off the land and off the sea and pick it, bring back a trailer you have to talk to the tongue of the you have to we've got a letter from um, the local iwi which is the um, the local tribes that because the, that land is, um, you know, they still have gathering rights and stuff like that, but um, have allowed us to go down and pick some stuff up. And um, we, we don't do that regularly, I have to say. A lot of this time we, we do purchase it from, um, from, uh, from people that are, um, you know, that actually do it commercially. It's perhaps easier, um, but I don't, it's not as cool and it's not as good. <laughs> it's, not as, it's not as rich either um, with, with salt, which is what we're really after, I think. Um, salt and flesh. Is, is what we get from that.